What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex and this is SDG's Gaming. And in this week's video game discussion, I want to take a deeper dive into Super Smash Brothers or Smash 64 for the Nintendo 64, which was released in America of January 1999. I really try to make the argument of why this game is easily a top 20 game for the Nintendo 64 console and arguably one of the best fighting games on the entire system. So first off, let's jump in the Wayback Time Machine for a moment, if you will, and say that at the time, the whole idea of this kind of game and having all of Nintendo's, you know, franchise characters all in one game was just completely unheard of. I mean, to have Mario Brothers fighting Pikachu, fighting Donkey Kong, fighting Captain Falcon, like, for real? But, surely enough, Hal Laboratories and the people at Game Freak definitely managed to pull it off. So speaking of, that takes me to the first point, which is the roster. I mean, of course you got the Mario Brothers themselves. You got your Pokemon, Pikachu and Jigglypuff. Got Star Fox, Link, and one of the best parts of this entire cast of characters is the fact that no matter what your play style, there's someone here for you. Maybe you prefer a character who's very, you know, quick, agile, and light, you might like Pikachu. Maybe you want someone who's a little bit slower and more of a powerhouse, you could play Donkey Kong. You want someone who's a jack of all trades, you could play the Mario Brothers. Someone who's more a bit, you know, tactical, likes to keep their distance play Samus for the Metroid series. So no matter what your play style, there's someone here for you. Next, not only do you have your basic one player game, your training mode, you get two little practices, and of course the vol versus multiplayer, but in here, you got the first appearance of Break the Target, which is a fun mini game, so you try to best all your time, and then another one, let me show you guys the second little mini game that we have here, which is called the Board the Platform. And boy, do some of these get really tough. As you can see here, I haven't even gone through all them all. But here, we'll just jump into links real quick for a second. But definitely add something different if you just get sick of just, you know, playing through the multiplayer and want something different. Adds a whole new element to this game. Whoops. Now, all this would be for absolute not if it wasn't for this game having completely flawless controls. And truth be told, Hell Laboratories just completely knocked it out of the park with a very basic recipe that works just absolutely magically. Every single button on the controller does something. Speaking of Metroid, since we Mentioned Samus last, we'll play her. Ah, and while we're here thinking about this, it's also a good host of maps to play. Got your Mario level, your Donkey Kong level, Hyrule Castle, Samus, my personal favorite for this game at least, Saffron City. So I guess since we're playing as Samus, we'll go to her course. But again, like I was just about to say, every single button on the controller does something. Get your basic down attacks, some smooth jumps just by pressing the C buttons. You can grab people with the right button. Everything's quick, responsive, there's no delays to anything. And I mean, this recipe has continued to be used in the later Smash Brothers. And while of course those games are by far better than this one, there's a reason it's still being used now. And also why so many of these styles of games are kind of now being, you know, copied so much. Just, you know, quick, easy, responsive controls. Lots of guest characters. Oh, and I just got knocked off the map. And everybody gets knocked off the map now. So we're facing some puffballs. Oops. And of course, one of the cool things about this game and the way that they really simplified it is the fact that you have your, you know, 
all your C buttons do a basic attack of kinds. So I freak you, almost all the characters on the roster have a basic C jump, C up jump, excuse me. If your basic forward attack. And then of course, this is also later expanded in later games. And I just completely missed my attack. But most importantly, of really any fighting game, it's just to have good responsive controls that make you feel like you're, you know, always within the action. Oh, and I missed again. Oh well. Got a good cast of characters, fun interactive levels. Of course, is this one the hazard? So that adds a whole new level of difficulty. And of course, yes, let us never forget the items. And while they get vastly expanded in later versions, oh, just the absolute chaos that all these random items can add. You know, battle, battle can be going one total way and then a couple of choice items at the right time and you just completely change the trajectory of a game of who's winning. And that true, honestly, with the items on high, that's really where this game shines. Just in the multiplayer aspect, you sitting down with a group of friends on the couch or wherever you are, playing this game together, having a blast with it, picking up a whole bunch of items, and just wailing on each other. Again, I hate to even use this to phrase, but you know, at the time, just that whole concept was just completely unheard of. Let's see if we can't knock the Jigglypuffs off here. We just sent one flying. Forgive me, I'm not too... Used to Samus. Usually when I play this game, I mean Yoshi. Or sometimes I'll play as Link. So I prefer some... Oh, and she put me to sleep. Speaking of, hey. Speaking of items... Ooh, I want to hit my, I almost hit my own bomb. Hey, and she gets that flying. Yep. Ah. So let's see if we can't close this game out. Ah, ah, yes, thank you, Jigglypuff. I forgot about in this game, you can even taunt. And each character has their own unique taunt. Which makes this game so much fun is that, you know, each character feels so different from one another and from the style that they play, how they play. So let's see if we can show off some other characters here for you. Get a whole new cast. Good. Perfect. And since I was just talking about Saffron City earlier in the video, let's go right there and talk, play it. So there's Pikachu's taunt. Definitely a Pokemon thing. Pikachu, of course, has all his lightning abilities, being an electric mouse Pokemon. Zap. Get off the map, Luigi. Got him. We're just going to try to cheese the AI here with a little bit of thunder. But like I was trying to say before, great controls, fun cast of characters, replay value up the yin-yang through the verse mode, the other little mini games that you could play, the single player. And while again, this isn't the best in the franchise for the Nintendo 64, and for the really rather kind of slim pickings of fighting games on this console, it's definitely one of the best ones on the system. And yeah, of course, easily a top 20 Nintendo 64 game for the Nintendo 64. If you enjoyed this kind of deep dive into Super Smash Brothers or Smash 64, comment below. Thanks for watching. Till next time, everybody.